Hey guys, so I'm currently sitting outside and editing the video that I'm gonna be uploading now, but I just wanted to give a huge shout out to my friend who just started her YouTube channel. I will link her down in the description. Jessica finally got me to get my butt in gear and to film or edit an official intro and outro, so I hope you guys like it. Hey guys, so it is Sunday morning and I'm in the greenhouse. I'm just gonna show you, I know I did a garden update video just the other day, but I'm gonna show you guys what I planted after I posted that video. So I ended up going to Tractor Supply and picking up some forget-me-nots, zinnias, and then I did get some alyssum and petunias. So I've got two trays of petunias, two trays of alyssum, and what else did I plant? I did some dark green zucchini, a couple more yellow pear tomatoes, and I started our Dill's Atlantic Giant Pumpkins. Also planted eggplant before my last video, I can't remember. But everything in the greenhouse is looking really good. The strawberry bed is doing incredible over here. And we've even got some calendula that seeded itself over here. This is where we're gonna grow our mini pumpkins. I still have to get this lattice situation set up. And over here, across from the peas that I think I planted in the last video, I've got a couple Roma tomatoes, cilantro, marigold, cilantro. These are our giant Belgium tomatoes. And again, some cilantro and marigolds. Those are just really good pest helpers with the tomatoes. And then on the other side over here are the peas and kale that we planted. And some of the kale is starting to pop up over here as well as the peas that we direct sowed. I've even got ones in between the peas that we have already grown. But this kale is doing amazing. There's sprouts everywhere. So that's a good sign. And the peas look awesome. Over here in our big onion bed where we planted our garlic, our onions, and some extra potatoes. We've got garlic popping up really nicely. And the other day we even started to see some of our potatoes sprouting. There's a bunch of them everywhere though. More potatoes. There's another potato. Another. All the free space that we had in here around our seed onions was potatoes. Let's go check on our rows. Apparently they infect every brassica type plant. So that's all of our cold weather crops that we've already planted here, like our cabbage, our broccoli, our kale. So I just got off the phone with my grandmother and she owns like an actual greenhouse and an actual plant business. So I asked if she'd ever dealt with them and she has. She said the best way to deal with them is to dry out the plant as much as possible. So we're not gonna water for a little while. We've put some DE on them and I will show you. Hey guys, so I am out in the greenhouse and it's been about two days since we put the products that I last showed you on the plants outside in our rows. Those are our brassicas, so like our cabbage, our broccoli, our Brussels sprouts, our kale. Um, I dug down the other day to see if there were any more root maggots and I couldn't see any moving. I did still see a couple, so I'm going to try something that I found online. I saw that if you put a couple tablespoons of peroxide in a watering jug with some water, that that should do the trick. So we're gonna try that just because I'm a little nervous that I can still see any at all. I've never dealt with them before, but what I've read, they can basically wipe out an entire crop in a season, all within a couple of days.
Now let's go fill it with the rainwater outside. So I'm over here checking on one of the broccoli plants. I don't want to dig too close. I ruin the roots. I don't see any. I think this is a good sign. Let's check another one. I don't see any at all over on the broccoli, so this is a good sign. I think it might have just been the cabbages, but we did take precautions by doing all of the crops that are over here because they are all brassicas. What we're doing seems to be helping the ones that are still strong enough. For example, these three are doing really good. They're still growing. They're getting bigger and stronger. The leaves are changing. Some of them, not so lucky. At this point, I'd be happy to harvest at least 50% of what we planted in these rows. So it's been another couple days since the last clip that I showed you guys, and I'm gonna come and check on some of our cabbages. I'm not seeing any more of the root maggots. Oh, I see them right there, but they're not moving. They're dead. So I'm hoping the peroxide and the other things that we put on helped. I will peroxide them again, just because the fact that I can still see them scares me. So let's get rid of them for good. Here's another cabbage, and I'm just going to dig a little bit further down for this one. This is a really big, healthy one. And I just want to make sure I can see the roots, but I don't see any root maggots, so that's a good sign. <laughs> 